you have Earth, tiny little blue-green blob floating in space. Uh, we have about 7 billion people now inhabiting the Earth and a lot of other organisms, but a limited amount of resources and a limited amount of, of space. So the, the four basic components of all, of all life, human life especially, air, water, food, shelter. Uh, what we've been focusing on is that fourth component, the shelter, and how we can meet that with these limited resources. So you look at bees, honeybees for hundreds of millions of years have been finding an efficient way to enclose space with the smallest amount of resources using a hexagonal tube, these stacked hexagonal tubes. And it's putting those resources to good use. But within the past few decades, we've seen this incredible amount of uh, resources and materials and energy to make these massive uh, structures and shelters um, at expense of the environment and it's unsustainable. On the other end of the scale, you have these, you have uh, d disaster relief situations, you have tent cities, uh, refugee camps, and this, this sprawl on the ground and it's not really using the vertical space like those buildings are forward. So our, what we've been working on is a uh, community architecture using the hexagonal shape of the honeybees, and it includes uh, holistic design with rainwater capture on the right. There's uh, solar uh, photovoltaic on the left. I'm missing one here. Um, so this is also an improvement upon those tent cities you saw because this would elevate the, fr the, the base floor and subsequent floors would be vertically stacked so that you, uh, in, in uh, water events, um, <laughs> so this is a, the, the basic structure is a, a, a helical spiral, and these, um, this is like what one unit would look like, and they're colored differently, so you can see how the spirals continue around. When they're put together, the structure becomes stronger because they're interdependent on each other. So it's a, a, a social architecture, not only in the sense that um, th there's people relying on each other, but the actual structure itself is uh, uh, Reinforce. So on the upper left is the uh, basic um, structure, and on the on the lower right, then we put in the uh, vertical supports and the floor um, supports. Um, next in the upper left would be um, load bearing um, floor and uh, floor walls, and then um, wouldn't have to be uh, non-load bearing um, ceiling sheathing and, and ceiling walls. So. Uh, Next would come the uh, internal supports, would be shelving, places to store um, basic belongings, followed by uh, exterior sheathing and doors so that uh, the space could be secure. It's a, it's a place for people to um, come, have a, have a sense of being, have somewhere they can store some modest belongings, but also use that, um, use that land area better because they stack uh, vertically. And so staircases would go on the outside. So what we've done is we've created a, a basic uh, prototype in our shop uh, showing that the concept can, can work um, with this kind of uh, tubular endoskeleton. And this was just done with conduit and some bent uh, steel pipe. So that was broken down and it was transported to another location in Trenton. This is an abandoned warehouse. We set it up. Um, it's kind of a crude prototype, but it's ser it serves some purpose. And uh, this is kind of like our real-world testing of the prototype and we can see someone actually moved into the um, unit where it was set up they were putting it to use um, and if you look on the lower right that's kind of how the connection works it's it's kind of complex geometry but we've uh, figured out the math and we're working on some new ones so here's the the, the inventor Pete um, hanging out in the in a hammock that we strung across so there's different ways that you might be able to uh, include a sleeping area some things would fold out from the walls other things might hang in, be in between um, further concepts we're working on is how you could put this in a circular, um, in, a, in a round, so we call this the bee home in the round. Um, and it's just, <laughs> you can see how these spaces, uh, can in, they all kind of interact with each other. So your, your uh, ceiling would be someone else's floor. Um, the applications for this would be um, especially uh, immediate disaster relief situations, low income housing, because um, you could fit all these components into a shipping container and hopefully ship that, that container down where it's needed and unfurl everything out from it. So why would we use the bee home is that it can use uh, land area better because they vertically sack as opposed to those tents, um, which they, they work, but they take up a lot of space. It's also um, structurally strong and it, it instills a sense of community so people work together in these situations. <laughs>